好老的。For eight there, but I knew I was going to be talking straight afterwards, so I didn't want to die. What's up, guys? Me and here. Well, welcome back to LSJ TV for today's my protein unboxing. So I'm like 90% sure. I mean, there's only been a few of them anyway, but I'm like 90% sure that this is the biggest box of my protein that I've ever had. I've done a huge haul unboxing video before, God, I'm still out of breath. And I'm pretty sure there's more in here than there is in that, but we'll see. The person that delivered this, actually, oh my days, this is ridiculous. I actually had to chuck it over the back fence, I think. There was no one here, no neighbors around. That meant it got chucked over the fence. But look at all of these goodies. This is insane. unboxing thing is not a good idea so we will dive right into it let's start off with some snacks shall we so protein brownies um, I love the six layer bars I love um, protein filled cookies but to be honest protein brownies in the white chocolate has to be my favorite right now I don't know whether it was because I ran out of this and didn't run out of the other stuff that I really really found myself craving these but anyway Snack number one, protein brownie, white chocolate. To follow that up, more protein brownies in the chocolate flavor, okay? So we can have a choice of white or milk, whatever which one this would be. Milk chocolate, it's not dark chocolate, is it? So let's go with milk. Next up on the snacks would be, oh, okay. We have two boxes of the white chocolate brownie. I don't remember ordering two, but I'm not complaining because of literally what I just said. Following that up, we have layered bars in the chocolate sundae flavor six layer bars layered bars whatever you want to call them this is my favorite flavor everybody seems to rave about the white gold flavor um i liked it it was very very good but this is definitely my personal fave it cannot be topped it literally just tastes like chocolate cake it's actually insane and last but by no means least on the whole snacks kind of portion of today's video we have the protein crisps in the barbecue flavor um, I've never tried them before. I honestly have no idea whether they're any good. So let's just skip to me trying them, shall we? Hmm. I mean, it was never in doubt, really, was it? new here I recently shoulder pressed 100 kg I will link this video in the description box or on the screen or at the end of the video it won't be hard to find just scroll back and find it it's a pretty cool video so I'm shoulder pressing today but for reps rather than going for a heavy single focusing more on hypertrophy for today there's your bit of information for the day let's move on okay so 
This jacket hoodie thing with the slidey pocket on the chest. Uh, Charlotte actually got me this for Christmas. I didn't order this from my protein, I didn't get it from my protein. It was bought for me as a gift. And this is a uh, size medium uh, in the paprika color. It's been washed a couple times now. Uh, it hadn't shrunk up or anything like that. This is my new favorite item. I wear it all the time on stories. I wear it all the time on YouTube. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is my new favorite. It was a Christmas gift from the missus. And uh, it's not something that I would have got for myself, but I'm so thankful that she got it because my God, I freaking love it. It's not actually technically in this video because it's not in this kind of haul, This bulk of stuff that I got this month. But I wanted to show you it because it's a my protein item. I'm also wearing the joggers. These are the form joggers that um, I opened in the last my protein video, I believe. But I'm getting a bit hot in this in all honesty. <laughs> well, next let's move on to protein products. So you guys know my love for the clear whey isolate. Favorite flavor, peach tea. I'm excited to try this. This is the one flavor that I haven't actually tried and so I'm definitely buzzing to give Bitter Lemon a go. Um, I'll give you guys an updated review on this at some point in the future. Subscribe if you are new to see that over the next few videos, okay? So, we were also running low on protein. Not, we're not running low, but I like to have a lot of choices and we were running out of choices because the chocolate caramel had gone. Well, actually one of the bags, we've got a whole fresh bag of that. Anyway, we picked up Something a little bit different. Well, salted caramel, which is a solid staple, and in my opinion, my protein's best flavored protein, if you put it in oats, if you have it as a shake, salted caramel, you cannot go wrong. Something a little bit more out there. Something that we just thought we'd try. It's the apple crumble and custard flavor. Bear in mind that I put oats, um, I put, put flipping egg. I put protein in oats. This is, I'm um, kind of thinking slash hoping it's gonna make it taste like a nice custardy filled dessert, but for breakfast. So that's the goal with that, but again, I'll keep you updated on it. My protein actually have about 40, 45 flavors of normal impact whey protein um, for you guys to try. If you don't wanna buy a one kilo bag, a five kilo bag, they actually have individual sachets of it as well. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend either buying like uh, less than a kilo worth or a sachet before you buy a big bag because nobody likes being lumped with a bunch of protein that they just don't like the taste of, whether it's going in your oats or you mix it with milk, mix it with water. No one wants to be stuck with a flavor protein that they don't like. So test it first or maybe buy a flavor that you like and then buy a tester of a sachet for something that you might get next time or so, something like that. I don't know, just don't be stupid with it because you don't want to be lumped with a big five kilo bag of protein. We've all been there when you don't like the taste of it and you just gotta power through it, you know? So to finalize the uh, protein kind of products, if you like, this one is the protein spread in the chocolate hazelnut flavor. Now these are meant to be, I don't know what it says on the top, but these are meant to be the absolute dog's bollocks. That is not gonna focus, but anyway. 360 gram tub and one serving uh, well, there's 24 servings in here, and I think it's like three quid. So some, you know, stick it on your toast, stick it in, uh, I don't know, do what you want with it. Put it on top of your oats again. I might try the salted caramel oats with a little spoonful of this on top. I reckon that would be good. Anyway, this is gonna top off the kind of protein products, and we are still actually going with, with this order, but I need to carry on with my session, so we'll come back to it in a sec. filming a video and training at the same time, malarkey is, is not not great. I'm scared to do extra reps because I know I have to talk straight afterwards and I don't want to be like out of breath. I don't want you guys to think I'm some unfit my protein guy, you know what I mean? Okay, a couple slightly smaller bits. Um, this actually, well I mean, I, I didn't ask for this but it's in here. This is Thermapure. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a fat burner. I honestly will have to look into that whether I'm going to use that or not. I'm not sure, I'll keep you updated on this. Next up we have pure, whoa, caffeine. So as far as I know, there's actually 200 milligrams of caffeine in every single one of these tablets. And there's 100 tablets in here. Now I don't like to go above 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. Bearing in mind I like to have a monster, I like to have the option of having pre-workout, 
I don't know how useful these are going to be, but I liked the idea of having the option, you know? Sometimes I don't want to waste a monster or waste my opportunity to have pre-workout. And so I can just take half a pill, maybe have 100 milligrams or a quarter of a pill in the morning. You know, people have a coffee and that's like 50 milligrams of caffeine, but... I'm just going to see how I go with these. Again, a lot of this video is I'm going to keep you updated with it. Um, but this, I'm very, very excited because you're not meant to exceed one tablet daily. No plans on doing that. I don't even plan on taking a full tablet, if I'm honest. I'm either going to take a quarter or half of a tablet purely because of the amount of caffeine. There's 200 milligrams in one little teeny pill. I have no idea how they do that. Science, you know? Also, now we are taking a few more kind of glucosamine bits. We are taking, what else? Um, fish oils. We're taking A to Z multivitamins. I picked up this pill box because I, I go to I go to Charlotte's house maybe once a week or you know every few days or whatever. I don't want to be lugging around three to four to five big tubs this size in my bag. I don't have room for that. So what I can do is essentially just stock up in these little sections here and take this instead. Um, I'm not necessarily going to be using it every day at work or whatever because I tend to take them in the in the evening when I have my dinner. So I don't need to take them with me throughout the day. But this will be handy when I go to places like Charlotte's house, maybe if we go away somewhere I can on a flight, I can put them in here. Um, this is just something that I've wanted for a while and it says my protein on it, and so I'm sold on it, you know? One thing which I wish I actually had about 45 minutes ago, well actually it's more like an hour ago now, um, I've had a real issue uploading the previous video, the meal prep video, uh, that got copyrighted and um, was blocked worldwide, which is the first time I have had this out of 450 plus videos, so nearly 500 videos, and it's never happened before. Um, and so it kind of cocked up this session, me filming this video. And anyway, I could do with another scoop of this, but it's a little bit late, you know? So this is the pre-workout, nearly dropping this as well, in the lemon sherbet flavor. I haven't tried this flavor before. I've heard very good things about this flavor, so I'm looking forward to getting into it. I love this product in my daily kind of pre, if I have a pre, most days it will be this. If I'm having a heavy leg day, I'll go for the pre-workout plus because more caffeine, more stims. This is a little bit more tame um, and yeah, it's just more of an everyday pre. I don't really want to be abusing my, my caffeine levels like I just mentioned a minute ago. I don't like to go over 400 milligrams. There's like 300 milligrams in a scoop of the pre-workout plus, whereas there is... Pretty much half that in this, I think. Yeah, 175. So I can use this pre most days and still have enough left over to have a monster or anything like that if I want to. I don't always, but if I want to, I have the option and that is what I like and that is what I want, okay? Getting down to the final couple of bits. Um, this is a new product from my protein, the CBD oil. Um, I haven't actually had a chance to try this yet. I've always wanted to try CBD oil, but I've never really had the chance to or the reason to. Now I work for my protein, I have a reason to try it. So I'm gonna be giving this a go over the next few weeks. Um, and I will let you know how I'll get on with it. I will be honest, whether if it's crap, I'll tell you it's crap. Um, but I have high hopes for this. I've heard very good things um, from friends and family, you know? So I have high hopes for it. And finally, we have a couple of t-shirts, but I will be showing you these uh, once I am less sweaty, less gross. I will try them on um, in a minute after I've had a shower. Well, I say in a minute, I'm actually going to finish the rest of my session because I feel like I've earned it today. I've done a whole day at work, I've come home, I've sorted my video, and then I've trained. My video cocked up, so that's messed up my training session. I'm gonna enjoy my training session, and then I'll get back to my YouTuber thing, right? Okay? You stick with me? I'll be with you in three, two, one. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to do a transition like that, but... Oh, fine. Come on, then. Stop <laughs> now. <Give> a <clears throat> wow, incredibly um, innovative and seamless transition. Eh? So, this face tech... Um, my protein tea. These are my favorite teas from my protein. Um, they're nice and stretchy, nice and light, and somehow they keep you really cool. It's like a dry fit kind of thing. Um, so I have this in three colors now, and uh, I want to get it in every other color. I just feel like, to be honest, they make you look bigger than they are. So this and the new are, sorry, the seamless tea. Um, I've not actually tried a my protein seamless tea before. I don't remember the last time I actually, oh, it's thicker than I was expecting. Okay, interesting. Um, I am around about five foot six, just above that. 175 pounds, I think. 
ish. I actually don't know right now. Chest is about 40 inches. Again, maybe a little bit more than that. I don't know. The last time I measured it. And I wear a size medium, just for reference. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. How am I looking, babe? Fab. Fab? Yeah. I can work with that. I can work with that. Okay, so that is going to be it, people. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. Thank you to anyone who's used the code. As always, um, send over the screenshots and I'll enter you into the monthly giveaways. Um, people tend to win either pre-workout or uh, what else? Pre-workout or Clearway Isolate or something like that anyway. But um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.